Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Noctua NHC14 CPU cooler. Now I've reviewed a Noctua before. This one here has a slightly different design. Okay, so the NHC14 has a C type top flow design with two fans, as you can see, dual fan configuration. You can have the fans uh, as it comes in the box with one on the top and one on the bottom, okay, for your ultimate overclocking, or just one at the top okay or you can have it at the bottom depending if you want to have a like a low profile setup it's kind of like a spaceship design if you ask me now here it is upside down so you can see the uh, smooth surface of that CPU contact plate and uh, also in the kit in the box obviously with the cooler you're gonna get the uh, brackets for your Intel CPU or your AMD CPU as well as some connectors for the fan so that you can decrease the RPM of the fan and have it run quieter Okay, so that's very nice that they've added that in there as well. Here are the dimensions in case uh, you're looking for that for your special case that you've got. And the rest of the stats here, it'll support every CPU, so don't worry about that. It has all the brackets for all the latest and greatest CPUs on the market. As well as you can see here, those terrific fans, the NFP14s that you can see there that really cut through that air. They chop right through and they're really quiet. I gotta admit, they're really nice and quiet. So despite uh, what many of you have said about the color, that doesn't bother me. Now here is my test system. Okay, the test system that I'm running it in is a pretty high-end system, if you ask me. It's got, uh, as you can see, an 850 watt power supply. We've got uh, two cards there in the middle, those sapphires. We've got um, crossfire going on, and uh, you can see the bridge connectors, and also. You know, to power this thing, a nice silver stone Strider Gold. So there you have it. There's the uh, beautiful Noctua cooler, and I've set it up in this orientation, as you can see. Okay. Now you can set it up differently depending on your motherboard layout, depending on how you have things. But this is how I have it set up in my case, and uh, it doesn't touch the RAM. Okay. So I have two pieces of RAM there, two sticks, four gigs installed and uh, it doesn't touch the heat pipes even though you might think it does it doesn't touch so I have them on the other two uh, slots and uh, and I can fit two, I can fit two no problem okay now of course if you want to fit more then you'll have to turn it around as you can see here in this uh, diagram there's different ways to position it if things don't fit okay you're gonna have to check that out yourself and it depends on the motherboard also now looking at temperatures here in Windows 7 you can see here CPU Z I'm running the Intel Core i5-2500K at 4.7 gigahertz and overclocked here we're getting about 32-34 degrees Celsius which is really nice and cool on idle and at full load about 44 degrees Celsius which is absolutely terrific so the headroom here that I have for overclocking is really good because it's not heating up at all and even though I have the voltage high at 1.376 volts um, it's not breaking a sweat and the cooler uh, is actually running pretty quiet. The fans are not running at full-blown RPM, which is really, really good. So definitely recommend this uh, CPU cooler for those of you looking for a high-end, premium, air-based cooling system, right? And you're not looking towards getting the uh, water cooling yet, or you're not uh, liking that, then definitely get this from Noctua. And I'd like to thank Noctua for providing it, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.